Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you what are delegates and how to declare delegates in C Sharp. In this video, I'm going to give you a little example which uh, makes this uh, delegate concept a little bit much uh, clearer. So let's get started. In the last video, I have shown you how to declare a, a delegate signature. And I have shown you whatever method you want to point to from a delegate, you your method or your delegate signature will look like the same as method. Only change is you need to have this delegate, right? Now, for example, I create I want to create a delegate which will be a general purpose delegate to perform some action or to perform some operation. For example, I want to perform uh, uh, addition, subtraction, or uh, and uh, multiplication and division from a same delegate. How can I do it? So, for example, this method we have written it for the addition of two numbers. I can just make a similar method to subtract two numbers. I will just say subs number for subtracting number and we'll just give us the subtraction of two numbers and once again we will copy this method and we will paste it here and then this third method we will uh, use it to get the product of two numbers rod two numbers so this will give us the product okay so for an example, I have these three methods and I want to use the same delegate to use them. I can name mine the delegate as a operation delegate for example. Operation delegate which perform some operation on these two numbers, right? Now what I what can I do is or what I can do is I can perform this uh, addition, subtraction, or product uh, product of these two numbers uh, by using the single delegate. So I will just copy the name of this delegate, and I can uh, declare the object of this, this delegate. I have uh, told you last time that delegates are similar to the classes in a way that you can instantiate or you can create an instance of this class or uh, this delegate, right? And in the constructor, you need to give the name of the function you want to point to. So, for example, first object I create del1 to add these two numbers, right? And I can say the result, uh, the add result is equal to whatever is the result right this should be is equal to and the result okay so and in a similar way i can declare the another instance of this delegate i will just copy and paste it here and i will name this delegate as delegate 2 and this in this delegate instance i will pass this function which is subtracting two numbers okay and this result i will say this result is result one for me this so for example we say this is a result one and this is a result two for me and i will pass two different numbers for example thousand minus 789 okay and i can instantiate a third delegate object del3 and I will pass this product function to this and now this delegate will point to the product and this result I will store in the third variable called result3 and then I can say sub result is or sub result is and product result is this one so in a way I have used a single de delegate to perform these three methods, right? So this delegate can be used as a general purpose uh, a method for performing three different tasks, 
right? And I will run the program and it shows me the re result of all these three, right? So in this way you can create a delegate which will show you, uh, which will give you the result of all these. Uh, this should be once, one second. Okay, so there, there is something which I forget. This delegate comes here when we pass these two arguments. This delegate will come here and this delegate will come here, right? Now this declaration is complete. So we create an instance of the uh, delegate and in the construct as a constructor we give the function name which will point, point to this function. So our delegate object will point to this function and whatever this uh, function is it is pointing to it will take the argument uh, same argument as that function and using the this instance right. The same you will do it for this and this and now probably you will see the right will do. So addition of these two numbers is this, subtraction of these two numbers is this and multiplication of these two numbers is this. Okay. So in a way you can use delegate for three purposes. First is to encapsulate the methods call from caller. Second is effective use of delegate improves the performance of the application, right? So if you use this, uh, these delegates effectively, it will increase the performance of your uh, application in a way that your application will be much flexible if you use uh, delegates because you can uh, perform different tasks using the same delegate, right? And the third is, uh, Delegates are used to call method asynchronously, right? So you can call this method and at the different time you can call other method. So you can call them asynchronously, right? So in this way, you can use delegates. This is a small example I want to give you. And I hope you have learned something new this time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and bye for now.